We love to make paella for friends and family, and we think it would be great to share this passion with you and for us to bring paella to the world. There are over 6 billion people on the planet, and every one of them has not lived until they've had paella. We hope to meet our friends around the world to bring paella to all. In our passion for paella, we plan to be looking to donate 10% of our revenue to worthy causes in the areas we visit. We not only hope to bring our brand called Praia Paella to the world, we hope to promote other organizations and companies that are working to make a difference in the world. Praia Paella, traveling the globe to bring paella to the world. Praia Paella was a brainchild of Greg's one day when the family was enjoying a Saturday morning in bed watching some fun videos on YouTube. The day before Greg just cooked his 110th paella with all giving it a strong thumbs up, it was clear we had to share this with the world. We decided to do a paella channel that focuses on making paella for friends and family. We realized that we might be able to succeed by doing the following. 1. Teaching our passion for making paella. 2. Promoting other services and products. 3. Committing to a donation to local causes for each video. 4. Setting an objective, such as making paella for every country in the world. 5. Defining a mantra, and our mantra is going to be traveling the globe to bring paella to the world. And then, of course, 6. Having some fun. We'll make some paella vines along the way. We hope to make our way around the world through our own efforts, your donations, and your support on our YouTube and Facebook sites. We hope to both inform you and entertain you with the joy of making and eating paella. In this episode, our first episode, we will look at our first sponsor, which will be Project Paella. Second, we'll provide some detailed instructions around making paella number 107. And then we'll be looking at our first nonprofit, Birch Community Services, and review what they do and how you can help. The term paella comes from Valencia, Spain, and it has its roots in the small farming villages along this area. The name may have been from the term patea, which is the Latin word for pan. The cooking of paella usually requires a fairly large pan and requires several hours to cook. As history would have it, the meal was usually on a Sunday afternoon and was cooked by the men so as to give the women a break and of course to finish off the leftovers for the week. This leads us to the other more romanticized version. The term paella can also mean for her in Spanish, para ella. With this, as you shall see, the dish is best served first to women that are in the group. Our family has been making paella for over 15 years. I fell in love with the dish in 2001 when I spent around two months living in Sevilla, Spain while attending a Spanish immersion program. With my experience, I developed a love for the Spanish lifestyle for eating good food, enjoying great friends and family, and dancing late into the evening and showering our love to all that attend. So it is our hope that you will join our journey to bring paella to all the corners of the earth in a way where we can promote the businesses that make our lives easier and more enjoyable, open your eyes to those in need, discover all the wonderful traditions of the world, dance with all the cultures, and learn that watching paella being made is never a dull moment. Making paella is one of the most enjoyable processes that one can undertake. The time for preparation and the time to perform the actual cooking effort can become not only a habit, but a weekly or monthly ritual. When you become good at it, you will find family and friends encouraging you to make more. Chicken, we put in lemon chicken. Got a little recipe of 
lemon. Not lemon, lemon chicken. It's just chicken, chicken. Don't listen to this guy. And What's the mat for? The mat is so that it doesn't burn. You have a little mat. Uh -huh. And what's that for? That's for vegetables. But why can't you not put vegetables on here? Well, I can. Then why do you don't? They, they have a burn. They have a different burn line with that. So anyway. Okay, here we are. We're gonna make the paella. And we have the fire going with a paella pan. Fry our shrimp quick. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make the paella now. Woohoo! We first oil. Yeah. And we put our salt on the side. Hi. This is Sergio helping. Hi, right, Sergio. You being my helper today? Yeah. So we prepped everything. Smoke. Hey, Dad. Look. Yeah. Smoke. Oh no. Okay. That's okay. The dog can eat it. Oh, the. <gasps> All right, now we put our... Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Go. We go, we go, we go. So we put garlic, it's browning. It's browning. It yeah. Now, don't play around here. It's over. Now we put our onion. 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 Okay, it's been sauteing for a couple minutes. Now we put the tomatoes. Where they come saute. Okay, it's looking good, buddy. All right, time to add the rice. You do five cups. There's four. And there's five. Mix all this up. for a minute or two, get it all nice.
we go. Here goes Sergio. Why is it so like that? Why is it so bubbly, Dad? I have abs, Mom. Look. Mom, see this? There we go. Let that cook for a couple minutes and we'll put everything in it. Alright, here we go. Everything goes in now. We got it. Buddy. Birch Community Services began in 1992 with a donated bag of squished bread on the front porch of Barry and Suzanne Birch. They shared the bread with some single moms and other families in need in their neighborhood. Within the following weeks, other food retailers who had heard of the Birch's spirit of giving were donating their surplus for redistribution by the Birch's to a growing number of needy families. The organization was steadily grown to become one of the largest food distribution programs in Oregon and has been within the top 25 organizations in Portland Business Journal's annual list of top 100 Portland nonprofits and has never received a penny in government funds. Here's your toast. Thanks, Dad. Can you cut the crust, please? Sure. Okay, 
Okay, buddy. Here you go. Here's your toast. Uh, no! Do you want to meet Aaron Rodgers? You gotta, you gotta play along here, buddy. Aaron Rodgers is my hero. You have to say, I'm gonna make pie for Aaron Rodgers someday. No, you are gonna make pie for Aaron Rodgers someday. <laughs> You think so? Yes, yes you are.